He is the greatest rescuer of all. We know he lives and he continues to save lives at this point in time. We've seen the Lord deliver his people time after time in the Old Testament from the Egyptians from their own sins. The Lord seen favor with David and used him to defeat Goliath in the Philistines. He spoke through prophets. The Lord rescued his people. The New Testament, Jesus arrives at the scene. Jesus said in John 14, verse 6, that he is the way, the truth, yeah. and the life. Amen. John chapter 8, Jesus is speaking to his people. And let them know in verse 32 that ye shall, ye shall know the truth. The truth shall make you free. Free from what? The bondage of sin. Jesus charged all who believe on him to do one thing. The one thing is to disciple to the nations. Just as his disciple, just as he discipled to his nation. Just as Jesus brought a new doctrine of grace to his people. We who believe on him are charged to spread the gospel, Amen. the light, to show the way, and to walk in the newness of life. Yes, sir. You all can go into Romans chapter 6.
promise us eternal life, but also the gift of the Spirit. We inherit those things. There's a reason we inherit the gifts of the Spirit. We need them in order to show God's might, His power on this earth. Who is God using in, the, in these gifts? He's using us, those who believe, those who were crucified with Him, buried in His name, the word of baptism. But also those, the importance of having the Holy Ghost is having the Spirit. It says that we are the sons of God, the ones who possess the Spirit. We have an inheritance. We are His sons. We are His. If I get this right, if I'm not correct about this, Pastor, correct me. But in the Old Testament, when the priest walked into the tabernacle, when he walked, did all his procedure, and if he was righteous, if he was right, and they knew that they knew that he was coming out of the tabernacle or out the out of the, the, the inner uh, the inner part of the tabernacle of the holy of holies. They knew that he was coming back. Now, I heard this from Brother Lee Stone King, and I haven't did much research on it, but he's a very knowledgeable man, so I take his word for it. Now, those bells ringing, he says, symbolize the coming of the high priest. So if the bells ringing symbolize the coming of the high priest, what is the significance of the bells? The bells symbolize the Holy Spirit, the gifts of the Holy Spirit being poured out sure. on the earth. So if the Lord is filling us with His Spirit, that's a huge sign. That's letting us know something. That He is on His way back. But we must show we must walk in the newness of life. We must show that we are His children. How do we show it? By the way we live, living a holy life. Also, by letting the gifts of the Spirit be, be stirred up in us, that we be used in these gifts. That's what this world is longing for. It's longing for a person that will become a believer and a rescuer for Jesus Christ. We are rescuers. Our family, our friends, our loved ones, co-workers, People that we go to school with, teammates, if you're young, you play any sports, they're longing for a rescuer to come their way to share this gospel, to show them the way, the truth, and the life. That is what this world is longing for. Now, I had another message I, want, I wanted to, to uh, bring forth today, but this is what God put on my heart. We need to be revived in our, in our spirits. Yes. And we should be responsible enough to not let that fire die out. Yes. Yes. God is a consuming fire. Yes. So if he's a consuming fire, what does that mean? That we are staying nigh to him. That we should be all good. Yes. There should be no reason why our fire should die out. But the importance of us being revived and the fire not burning out is that we may be seen and used of God. Rescuers are needed. Your family. We all have family and friends. We all have co-workers. We all have people in our lives, associates that are not saved, who are not baptized in His name, and do not have His spirit. So what does this mean? We need to be rescuers. We need to walk in the newness of life. Leave sin behind. Live a holy and righteous life. So I charge you all today, the Lord charged you, to walk in the newness of life. Be a rescuer. When you see someone who doesn't have what you have, they need it. Don't be ashamed of the gospel. Don't be ashamed of the name of Jesus Christ. Remember what he did for you. Yes. Remember how he delivered you and set you free from on, the bondage of sin. Yes. Remember, let this be on your heart and 
your mind. Rescuers are needed. Amen? Amen.